to the Moment Troll to Experience radio show. My guest is here. She was a guest before, um, um, before I think a couple years ago. So now she is back with a new book. Um, I would love to talk about it. So it's very, very important to us in the platform on the show. Um, on our on our show, welcome to Miss Danielle Fennell. So how are you today? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me back. I'm excited to be back again. Mm -hmm. And I want to say to you that, you know, you have just been a blessing to so many people, wow. including myself. Mm -hmm. I've known you, um, like you said, a couple of years now. And I was just so excited to see all the great things happening for you in your life this year. I was able to attend your engagement virtually. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's right. Yes. Got married to yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, um, and then I even saw that you recently um, like purchased a car that you had really wanted. Mm -hmm. and so it just made me feel um, just so good to see so many great things coming back your way because you have just done so much um, to be a blessing to so many people. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm humbled by that because we met two years ago. Um, I saw you had a book out and then you supported our community day. I know you, I know you did community day. And um, then um, you um been a blessing, blessing to me. You know what I mean? I appreciate your support. I think it was virtual. I do remember that. You did a virtual thing. And, um, yeah, so now we be about be four months on next Sunday. Four months already. Yeah, so it's, 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 I'm telling you, it's a lot of work. Um, but it's not negative work, but it's not an inner work inside of you. Yeah. We're dealing with demons and, you know, things like that. So, yeah. um, you know, dealing with your past and trying to let go of your past and adjust to new fame members and new roles. And, you know, so it, it, it's really been a transformational period for me, you know what I mean, in terms of growing and learning you know, trying to navigate time, you know, trying to find time yourself and like right. it, it's been it's been a blessing. I try to teach my wife about self care and you know what I mean? So I'm a big proponent of that, you know. So um so your one of your uh, friends, Felicia, said that she loves your book and it's such a blessing and encouragement. So Thank you. yeah, so and um tight Tania said to be in the very dangerous Jones said good afternoon to you. Um so yeah, so I know you've been before. It's been a while. Can we we do so, audience? Who is Dan for now? Sure. So I am a Christian woman who has just given God my yes, and honestly, I'm just doing my best to walk in my God-given purpose and calling in my God-given purpose and calling in my God-given purpose. And I just want to say that I'm so excited to be back with you and just Amen. Definitely. All right, definitely. So, um, yes, yes. That, but they said that books are definitely a must read. So, um, so, so you said about your Christian walk and um your journey. Can you speak about how that walk was tested during COVID? Oh gosh. That's <laughs> <laughs> like because like, I know that for anyone, can you really walk? But I know you was. So how how's you? Navigate through that, that that going COVID. You know what I mean? How you how your faith was tested, your walk was tested. So I talk about this a little bit in my book. I talk about how I'm just so grateful that I had learned to just develop that personal relationship with God um, right before COVID hit. Because with the doors of the church being closed, mm -hmm. I, it just really became so imperative to be able to know how to pray on your own, to know how to be able to get through to God, just to know how to still be connected to Him when you didn't have you know a church to go to or you didn't have some else, you know, necessarily trying to like pray through. And so it really just helped me um, to my walk with God. It helped me during COVID to just, um, just keep me um, keep things in perspective for me, to mm. keep me encouraged. And um, it just reminded me that God is at the head of my life. And so even though things are going absolutely crazy in the world, like I know that like God is ultimately like he's, he's watching over me. Amen. Yeah, so um, that's that's the um, thing for me too because like it hit me hard too because like it was like God shut us down to work on ourselves. 
<laughs> to like that, to find out are we doing his will or are we doing uh, uh, someone else's will? You know, so that is funny. I think you know my story. I met my wife during the pandemic. So, so I met my wife during the COVID as we started actually being shut down. Like, like, so, and um, we met social media, unconventional. The A thing was happening in mental health, then George Floyd, the Beyond Taylor thing, and Jacob Blake, you know, all this stuff going on, testing your mindset, seeing that you, if you're you woke or not, or you, you know what's going on, you know what I mean? Like, are, are you saying I'll leave by? So, it tests my walk faith heavily, you know what I mean? Like, and, like, and I, I was the one that a uh, bishop did a service, virtual service, I was the one doing the camera. So I, I, I was actually doing the virtual services him on Facebook for like five months. So um, then we start moving back August 1st. I think August, the first Sunday, August last, it'd be a year, we'd be a year in two weeks. We've been in church the whole year. So a lot, a lot of churches that we fellowship with have still been closed. We've been like, Safety, 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 guidelines, all stuff like that. So, you know, it's been it's been a lot. It's been a whole journey, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean, so it still is a journey now. You know, what I mean, now we're on this gun violence going on in the city, you know, and our youth, and just it's a praying time. It's definitely a praying time for churches. And so, is y'all church back in service or or still um, virtual? We are back in service. Okay. Yes. Okay. I want to say we started um, the beginning of this year. Oh, okay. I want to Mm. Uh, when they really, like, open it up for me. Wow, wonderful. Yeah, I was mad. My church was open at the time. We had New Year's service that day. <laughs> so I was like, that was, the, that was the perfect year to do it. Like, yeah, but um, they were worried about safety, things like that. So let's get into your new book. Because um, I think the title is very, very profound in the times we're living right now um, about building relationships. A building relationship that also is more about going to church. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us about the rationale behind the book, mm-hmm. what made you write the book, and what people should get from the book? Sure. So I will just start by talking about uh, what the book is about. So the book is about the importance and the benefits of having a relationship with God, of building a relationship, but then also doing the work to maintain that relationship. Um, so it is based off of my own spiritual journey. It is a very uh, relatable and practical book. You know, a lot of times I feel like people will tell us what we need to do. Mm. But they don't always give us like those little baby steps in between to help us get from point A to point B. And so that is where my book comes in, right? I'm talking about a lot of the things that maybe we don't always hear people talk about, right? Um, people who have read the book, they've commented, they appreciate um, how transparent I am in the book. You know, for example, I talk about my struggle with my prayer life. That is the first chapter, and it is also one of the longest chapters because that is something that I really struggle with. Mm. You know, and, and what I talk about in the book is how, like, I didn't understand how people were talking about being in there, what we call, like, our prayer closets for, like, hours on end. But when I tried to pray, after, like, five minutes, you know, I almost felt like I was um, just trying to make small talk with God. You know, like, you're trying to make small talk with someone, like, in the elevator, you know. Uh, Lord, this is some really nice weather that you have given us. And, you know, just trying to, like, make small talk with God because it's like my relationship wasn't, it wasn't built up to the point where I really just knew how to sit in his presence and really just get to him close and, and stay in his presence for long periods of time. And so just talking about how I overcame obstacles in my prayer life, um, things like that is, is what people can expect from this book. Mm, wonderful. Okay, Keisha G say one of my favorite parts. That I say, you mentioned about um, you talking about um, endurance. What do you mean by endurance? You talking about endurance. What do you mean by endurance? So that is actually my last chapter, right? Okay. So a lot of times we get where we're at, and our weakness is that we don't have the strength to endure. It just feels routine to us, right? Because we're just going. We're singing on the choir. Mm. You know, we are, you know, on a, a devotion, devotional team, whatever you call Right, it. right. Um, but we don't have that personal relationship with God. And when you have that, you know how to stir yourself up. And it doesn't feel mundane. It doesn't feel routine because you have that relationship with God outside of those four walls. And so that is what I mean in dorms, making sure that you keep your relationship with God. Um, exciting, walking in your purpose, 
you know, you've overcome things in your life, being able to, to reach out to like other young brothers and sisters that you see that may be struggling with the same thing. So never just get it, uh, just satisfied in your Christian walk. Just doing the work to make sure that you keep it, um, that you keep it fresh and exciting and you keep just going deeper and deeper in God. Mm, that, yeah, that doing, yeah, that, I know that doing that affects everyone because everyone's been going through this pandemic and if it's been tested, being home and being virtual, being zoomed out with virtual, being comments called out, you know, having, having the faith can continue, you know, what's going to happen next, you know, we have people, people dying, people going through conditions, trauma, you know what I mean, like, so... So, so I, I, I would love this because it's about studying the Bible, reading your word every day. I think that's very, very important, you know. Um, so, and when I talk about reading the word, I often think about, I don't know if you're familiar with um, Travis Green. I absolutely love him. He's a singer, Travis Green. Okay, 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 right, right. He's also a pastor. And he talks about, um, don't just read your Bible to read it, but like really read it to get revelation from it. Mm -hmm. And so when I talk about studying the word, don't just do it to like check it off of your list and to say that you did it. It's not about... Um, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. Just taking time, even if you just read a few scriptures and just sit back and allow, allow God, yes, to like... And apply it to your life, and apply it to your life, right. speak, speak it to your life, right. and that, you know, right. like sometimes we just read it to read it, but yeah. we don't really think about what that really means, how we apply it to our life, and speak to it. Speak right. to speak that scripture to you, to Sarachi, you know what I mean? And I think that's essential, and plus you talk, you know, I know you talk about faith, and I think that Faith is barely very important because you gotta walk by faith and not by sight, yeah. and I think that's very, very, very essential. You know what yeah. I mean? Because our faith been tested. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you gotta hold on to God. I, I, I play a song. I hold on to God. I change your hand. I, but um, I was called away. I also play a song by young young man under AJ Evans, book on Jesus. So he talks about we make mistakes, we fall short, but do we get back up? Right. Do we stay? Do we stay there? Always stay, always stay, keep continuing to make the same mistakes. So it's very, very, very important that we keep going. We keep going our walk and not. And then also, can you speak about, we also hear about having the right community. Um, can you expound on that about, especially, so. Yeah, so having the right um, community around, you know, even like while we were going through, you know, what we've been going through, like how you said. Um, during COVID and just all the things that's going on in the world right now, right? We need to have people around us that can that can encourage us, mm. right? that can just speak life to us and not sort of just um, just always partaking in the negative with us, right? So if I see that you're a little down because you know things that are going on in this world has you a little bit discouraged, you don't necessarily need to be around somebody that is piggybacking off of that. You need somebody that can kind of lift you out of that place that can encourage you. And so that is what I mean. Surround yourself with people that can speak life to you. In my book, I talk about um, like how Mary and Elizabeth, when they got together, like um, uh, Mary's baby began to leap, right? So mm -hmm. we want to be around people that cause our baby to get, begin to leap on the inside of us. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I speak. Wow, that's uh, I love that. I had the right people around you, speak life to you, not that negativity and not that foolishness. Because that's why I tell my kids this summer. I look, because like I'm telling them every day, look, you got to choose happiness or negativity. You choose happiness, and um, because it, every day we do something is it's a choice. Yes. So, and I feel like you got to speak life to my kids, and um, especially because you know, because I don't know. Ain't these kids? I don't know where they've been for the past fifteen months. Some of them been in the building for the first time in a year, in a year. So, some of them are like going through stuff. So, so, and that's why I try to be positive, speak life affirmations to the yes. youth every day. You know, and talk about I shall live and not die. You know, right. I, I will, um, I will overcome. I will, um, I, I'm, I'm for the bench for routine. I, I forgot other stuff off my head, but um. But it's about building, about more than church. It's about more than going to actual church building. Because number in the day, we are the church. We are the church. We're supposed to build ourselves up. You know what I mean? The church building is for us to get rejuvenated, and get that energy. That you know, the but most important work is outside the four walls on Sundays or on Saturdays. Or it's about doing the work for the way. Are you speaking life to people? Are you being positive? Are you being negative? Because God sees everything you do. He sees everything you do. And it's not gonna be you can't do it in secret. So you'll see whatever you do. If you do so well, take accountability and you know and and, and let it go. So then move forward. So so 
What is next for you? It's wow. kind of um, inspiring me to write the book. Mm. Um, the last time that I was here, um, you and I were just kind of having a conversation about um, just being in a relationship with God and the difference that it has made in our Christian walk. Mm -hmm. And about uh, maybe a week uh, after being on your show, I was like home in bed, and God just brought that conversation back to my head. And he wow. just began to lay, um, just lay things in my spirit about the importance of being in a relationship with him. And so I got up and I just began to type up everything that he was speaking to me in that moment. And over like that next month, it could be during the day, it could be at night, God just continued to just deal with me about the importance of being in a relationship with him. And so, um, you know, after those 30 days, I had about 50 pages. I sent it to my oldest sister and I said, I believe that God has given me what he wants me um, to write about for a second book. He wants me to write about my um, spiritual journey and um, he wants me to use it to encourage other people. And so I just wanted to say that because the show is mentioned in the book, wow, it's thank kind you. of, uh, you know, what inspired. Wow, thank you, know, you so much. Wow, thank you. I'm humbled and I'm humbled and just grateful for that you mentioned my show, um, our show, because you mm -hmm. never know who you're impacting until, until you, someone tells you, you're like, yeah, you know, and that's a blessing, you know, and that's a blessing, you know, because that our conversation was in the introduction about the show, how much you, and how much it meant to you two years ago, that now two years later, and I mean, I'm, I'm very humble. I'm, I'm grateful. Thank you so much. I'm taking the back. Honestly, taking the back <laughs> in a good way. I'm just humble. I mean, you know? It's a timely conversation. Yeah. Like you said, we, we need to be in a relationship with God, you know, mm -hmm. more than ever. So. Yeah, more than ever. More than ever. Definitely more than ever. So, so what's next for you? Um, you know, what is next for me? I have some ideas surrounding um, different things. With the book, I'm still putting them in order. Um, as I get them together, I was starting to put it on my website at DanielleFennell.com. Um, but in the meantime, you know, I am just um, going around speaking about my book and just encouraging people to build a relationship with God because we definitely need it. Right. So, yeah, to God be glory. Amen, Keisha. Amen to that. Amen. So, I'll let you know, I'm putting, um, as you know, I did August Cafe 30 last Saturday. Um, very, very emotional event, um, in a good way. And um, my next one is on thirty is on September. So I wanna offer it to you so you're available to come participate and speak about your book. So it's September eighth? It's, it's September. It's September. Yeah, okay. yeah. So so the offer is Cafe thirty one. So okay. so um yeah, so I'm I gave more details okay. next week the date. Uh, we are trying to do that in person. So okay. Be like, be never, you know, never the capacity with the COVID thing, but um, um, I feel it's time because it'll be a year since we were last in person. So, like, so for our cafe, so I would love you to be one of to participate. So, oh, so see you. about your book, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, so um, and then also, you know, where people can find you. I know you talk about the website, but also where people can get the book as well. Also, your first book. Mm -hmm. So both books are available on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And then if people would like to connect with me, again, my website is a great place. You can email me through my website if you would like to just send me some type of a message. Also, I have a YouTube page under Danielle Fennell. Um, I have some videos there that you can check out as well. So where people get, you say you mentioned a blog earlier. Where do people find that blog at? So my blog is on my website as well. Okay, yeah. okay. So do you, you write there every week or every, or? You know, it's like I said, it's like my little testimonial. So as, you know, I go through different things and I feel inspired to share it, I will. Um, it could be two months in a row and then it may not be for six months. So it's not, it's not a definite timeline, but you know, as I feel inspired, I will share. Wonderful. And hey, last question, not, not last question, last question, I'm sorry. Um, I know you do, you're doing a lot of the book and working and that. What does Danielle do in terms of self care? And <laughs> <laughs> self care. Mm. So, self care and soul care, they're two different things to me, and sometimes they overlap, right? So, for soul care, I like to um, put on some worship music, mm -hmm. I like to read some scriptures. Uh, for self care, maybe um, I'll go and get like a mani and a petty, or maybe I'll go for like a run just to like clear my mind and just have the time to myself. 
Wonderful, wonderful. Well, Danielle Fennell, thank you so much for being a guest on my second time as a guest on my show. Thank you for your words and endorsement in your book. Um, please get her book. Go to Amazon.com. It's about building a relationship. It's about more than going to church. So go to Amazonsupport.com, support her. Uh, I'll put a website on her on my pages to support this book. I'm going to read this book. I will give a review. So, so, so I will give a review. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to read it. Um, give me the code weeks. I'll give a review. And then and then we go from there. So thank you so much for being part of the show. I, I really appreciate it. We got another guest coming up soon. So Ms. T. Gip Goodwin. So thank you so much for those who are watching. I appreciate your comments. Resurrection Evangelistic. Um, Evangelist. Evangelistic, Marsha Gilbert, Tonya, uh, Felicia, thank you for um, watch this. It's a, it's a great book. It's a must read. Um, that's a big endorsement right there. Um, so, um, Marsha could comment on that as well. Uh, Tonya said, Tania said, Yvonne, you're very impressed by my calling. Yes, I am. I'm very young because today I'm going to do what God called me to do. Um, Tonia said, love that we do community, a positive community that we can pour into each other in order to pour into others. I'm absolutely correct. That's definitely a big plus. You know, we, just, yeah, we got to pour into each other in a positive way. We need more love instead of more hate. You know, and uh, um, you know, just, that's, cause that, that can help someone overcome and push forward in a new direction. And then that way tell them when they most away for giving up, they can go that little push, say, look, all right, they can do it, you know what I mean? So, um, so Danielle, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, so we got another guest in a couple minutes. So uh, thank you for those who join us. Support Danielle. I uh, hope you can stay on for our next guest, Ms. T. Goodwin. She's an awesome woman as well. A incredible story as well. So that's, so I hope y'all, we we'll see y'all soon. Um, so you might see Danielle soon. In September for August Cafe 31, we'll get more details about that. You can come support her. Um, that'll be really, really awesome. So we'll see y'all a little bit. Thank you so much.